The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Sunday, April 2nd, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out our Patreon if you want access to our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money, and if you are interested in props and parlay picks, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions. You will find the link to our Patreon and to our new channel in the description and comments section below. Atlanta Braves vs Washington Nationals. The value is with the Nationals in this game as they are heavily underdogs. I would side with the home team because of the starting pitching situation for the Braves. Shuster gets the start, but as a rookie making his debut, only two things can happen. He can be dominate or struggle mightily. I'm making the prediction of him struggling because of how wacky baseball is sometimes. The Nationals have been poor in the first two games, and they are due for their bats to get hot. Take the Nationals to cover. Home runs are plenty in the first few games inside the Nationals' home ballpark, and I expect that to continue on Sunday. With two pitchers that are not dominating their opponents in the past years, this could be an offensive game. Take the over on Sunday. San Francisco Giants vs New York Yankees. The Yankees are 4-0 in their last four interleague games. The Giants are 0-5 in the last five meetings and 2-6 in the last eight meetings in New York. New York has had success against Stripling and should have the upper hand again on Sunday. The Yankees lineup is tough to navigate, especially at full strength early in the season. I expect four plus runs of production from New York against SF starter. Brito is tougher to analyze, but if his Cactus League audition serves any indication, he'll be pumped and primed to compete in his pro debut. Anything that resembles a quality start would be looked upon as a success. With that said, I'm confident enough in New York S Penn to get the job done, ensuring the lead doesn't go to waste. Bet on the Yankees to win by several runs tomorrow. Our team pick is New York minus 1.5 runs. New York won with the long ball on opening day, as Judge and Torres got to jog around the bases for the first time this season. Getting more runners on base will be an area of focus for the rest of the series, however, as it managed only four hits against Webb and one against San Fran's bullpen. Despite this being an interleague series, New York has plenty of recent experience against Stripling. The ex-Blue Jay didn't beat the Yankees during his Toronto tenure, picking up four losses over six starts from 2020 to 2022. He pitched a combined 7.2 innings and two starts last season, giving up 11 hits and four runs, with only 6 KS. Getting after Stripling early will be imperative, as the Yankees won't know for sure what they're going to get from their Sunday starter until game time. Our total pick is over. Baltimore Orioles vs Boston Red Sox The Boston Red Sox have been an incredible offensive team to this point, as they are third in the majors with a .975 team op so far. They are hitting the ball extremely well as they have a .306 batting average so far and need to continue hitting as they have a weaker pitching staff right now. Center fielder Adam Duval has been incredible so far as he is 5-4-9 with a pair of homers and 6 RBI up to this point, while also scoring 4 times. The Red Sox have figured out how to get their bullpen to put up zeros, as they did not allow a run past the fourth inning, and if they can get some good innings out of their starting pitcher, they will be in a great position. Boston has shown to take full advantage of Fenway Park with their lineup spraying the ball all over the place here and building up momentum off a walk-off victory is a great shot for the team to get going. The Red Sox have won 12 of their last 17 home games against the Orioles, so go with the Boston Red Sox to win the game at home and win the series. Our team pick is Boston Red Sox. We have seen an incredible amount of offense through the first two games, but the bats are not going to dominate throughout the series. Cole Irvin has not pitched against a good amount of these Red Sox hitters, while Tanner Houck has been pitching well against Baltimore in his career thus far. If there are a couple of innings that have no runs scored, there is a good chance the under is essentially a lock. The under has hit in five of the previous seven Orioles games against right-handed pitchers, as well as in five of the last seven Red Sox games against Southpaw starters, so go with under nine runs here as well. New York Mets vs Miami Marlins. 
As a squad that was reliant on their mound play a season ago, Miami has started 2023, making solid contact and averaging nearly 15 bases per game, which plants them in the top 10. Unlike the Mets, Miami hasn't been as disciplined at the plate, and as a result, they have hit into double plays nearly as much as anyone in the league. Another byproduct of the lack of discipline has been few amount of times the Marlins have settled for walks, sitting 27th in that category. What has made up for the lack of discipline, however, has been the ability to turn their at-bats into extra base hits, where they sit third in the majors. Along with these extra base hits, Miami has found ways to go yard, as the team is top 5 in home run rate. While the points can come in bunches, the aggressive nature at the plate can backfire when Miami is not seeing the ball well, which is inevitable at some during the season. While the Mets are sending a question mark to the mound, we know what Rodgers has done with Miami. Not only that, we know the Mets have seen Rodgers before, and last season they hit over .300 when Rodgers was on the mound. New York should still practice their plate discipline, and they will see some hittable balls that they will look to take advantage of here. Take the Mets as a slight favorite. Our team pick is New York money line. Point back to Rodgers, he has been peppered by the Mets in the past, and they'll have the confidence to hit well against him again. Miami was able to log 10 hits in Game 2, but that only resulted in two runs. Even with little exposure against Senga, Miami is seeing the ball well and has done well to turn their hits into extra bases. Our total pick is over 8 runs. It's Bird Pirates vs Cincinnati Reds. Cincinnati has started the season off seeing the ball well, hitting four homers through two games and combining for a .242 batting average as a collective. As such the Reds are 10th in slugging and on base percentage. This has resulted in Cincinnati sitting 10th in total bases per game. However, with this ability to go yard and swing at ever hittable ball, the Reds have struck out nearly as much as any squad to start the season. While Cincinnati will certainly look to keep their hot bats going, they need to remain disciplined at the plate, or they'll be at risk of being goaded to swing at pitches that compound into double plays. This has already taken effect on some sense. While the Reds haven't suffered many double plays, they sit 23rd in runners left in scoring position and have not been able to fully capitalize on ability to make solid contact in the early going. While the Pirates only saw Ashcraft once last season, they made the most of it and were able to rack up both hits and runs. The Pirates managed more hits than the Reds in Game 2, but succumbed to the long ball and fell in a hole early. Velasquez has proven to have more control over the ball, and that will prove fruitful against a Reds team that is giddy to swing at the plate, striking out as much as anyone in baseball. Take the road dog here. Our team pick is Pirates money line. One of the recurring themes when Graham Ashcraft took the mound last season was abounding runs. That trend seems to be viable until proven otherwise. Pittsburgh made nice work of him a season ago, and even with Velasquez's improved ball control, his barrel rate climbed to a career high. With the Reds seeing the ball well at present, any good contact they make could continue their home run heavy trend. Expect to see some Sunday fireworks here, take the over which is 7-0 to 1 in Ashcraft's last 8 home starts. Our total pick is over 8.5 runs. Minnesota Twins vs Kansas City Royals. In Thursday's game, the Kansas City bullpen did well in following a decent outing by starter Zach Greinke. Four pitchers combined for 3.2 shutout innings, allowing four hits and three walks, while striking out five Twins batters. On Sunday, Keller will be looking to hand them a lead when he eventually departs. The right-hander pitched in 35 games last season, 22 as a starter. Lifetime versus the Twins he is 3-5 with a save and a 3.90 ERA in 64.2 innings, spanning 13 appearances. Last season, Minnesota beat Keller up for 10 runs in 14.2 innings. It would be very hard to ignore what Joe Ryan did versus Kansas City last season. In his first start against them, he threw six scoreless innings and allowed just two hits, and in his last outing against them, it was seven scoreless and hitless innings, with a season-high nine strikeouts. The Royals lineup did not get bolstered by any stretch, and the Minnesota starter has proved an extremely reliable arm. The last three starts against them were all won by two or more runs. I wholly expect Ryan to log a strong six innings and dominate KC once again. The Minnesota offense is sure to score at least two runs on the day, and like the opener, I'm not confident that the Royals can even score one. Take Minnesota with the run line. When these teams get together the runs do not come in bunches. The under is 5-0-1 in their last six meetings, with only one of those games totaling more than seven runs. Neither of these offenses is bloated and ready to explode by any means, and both have proved slow starters in the past. Kansas City has been shut out in four of the last nine meetings, and at least one team has scored two or less runs nine times in the last ten. Last season, the Royals saw nine of their first 12 games go under to start the season. The Twins were similarly slow out of the game, with the undergoing 4-1-1 over their first two series of the 2022 season. Take the under 9.5 runs.